Welcome to Just Cook Something. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make mini artisan bread using a Dutch oven. The first thing you need to add is one teaspoon of activated yeast, along with two to three teaspoons of sugar, and then one and a half cups of filtered water, and the water was warmed at 105 degrees Fahrenheit. And then we're gonna add one to two teaspoons of vinegar, and you can also use apple cider vinegar as well. And after a quick mix, we're just gonna let it sit there for five to 10 minutes. And if you look closely, you can start to see the yeast grow. All right, so after five to 10 minutes, we can start mixing again for about a minute. And then we're gonna add one teaspoon of salt and then just give everything a quick mix. And next we're gonna be using bread flour. And if you don't have bread flour, you can also use all purpose flour. And we're gonna be adding three cups of that into the bowl and just mix in everything slowly until it looks something like this. Now just keep in mind if your dough comes up too wet, just add a bit more flour, it's no big deal. I'm using cups, which is not the most accurate way of measuring things, but I've just gotten so used to it. All right, next we're just gonna add some water around the rim of the bowl so the plastic wrap can stick on nicely. And then we're just gonna cover it with a cloth and leave it for one hour. And because my house is a little bit cold, I place the bowl next to the window just to keep it warm. And after one hour, this is what the dough looks like. It should have risen quite a bit. And this is gonna be our first fold. So just take that spatula and just kind of fold in everything inwards. Some people like to use their hands at this stage, but I prefer to just use the back end of a spatula and just kind of push everything inwards. I just find it a lot more easier. Now if you look closely you can actually see that the dough is getting a bit more smoother as you keep doing each fold. So just do this a few times and then it should look something similar to this. And then from there we're just going to add the plastic wrap back onto the bowl, cover it with a cloth, and I'm just going to place it next to my window again just to keep it nice and warm. And we're going to leave it there for one hour. All right, after an hour, this is what it looks like. Your dough should have risen even more, around twice its size. And then we're gonna start folding it in again. So we will repeat the process by using the spatula and just kind of pull everything up into the center of the dough and just keep folding all the sides until everything starts to become a bit more smoother. So again, if you look closely, you can see that it's becoming a much, much more smoother piece of dough. And this is the consistency what you're going for. So keep folding in all sides for about a minute. This just saves you time from doing all the work on the board itself. And remember, if your dough is still sticky, just add some more flour and keep folding in all the sides till it looks like this. All right, next we're gonna get our cutting board and add a generous amount of flour onto the board. And then we're gonna start shaping our dough. Now this is probably the most tricky part and the most messy part, but be sure to use lots of flour on the board and on your hands just so the dough doesn't get too sticky. And we're just gonna push the bottom portions of the dough, trying to make like a circle motion. And what I like to do is just move the dough around the board, trying to get all corners of that flour just so it doesn't stick too much on my hand. And don't be afraid to sprinkle more flour onto the board just so it's easier to shape it. Next, we're going to get the biggest knife we can find in our kitchen. I'm just using my fancy chef knife and I'm just splitting the dough evenly and you can just eyeball it. It doesn't have to be perfect. And then from there, I'm just going to start reshaping the dough again into two smaller sizes. And what I like to do is push both ends of the dough after it's been reshaped just to make it a more of a loaf shaped dough. All right, next, we're going to get our parchment paper and place it on there and then cut it evenly. And then we're just gonna turn our doughs on the parchment paper so they are in the shape of a loaf as we lift up the parchment paper. And then this part is optional, but you can add some more flour on top of your dough. And then here's where you can get creative and make your own designs on the dough. I just do a simple cut, but you can do whatever creative design you can think of. And then from there, we're just gonna put a cloth over the dough and move on to the next step, which is preheating our Dutch oven and we're gonna preheat it at 450 degrees Fahrenheit or 230 degrees Celsius. Once our Dutch oven is fully preheated, we're gonna carefully place our two miniature doughs into the Dutch oven and bake it with the lid on at 450 degrees Fahrenheit for 35 minutes. And after 35 minutes, you're gonna see an amazing hot steamy piece of bread, but we're not done yet. You still have to take out the parchment paper 
and then carefully put in a shrivet to prevent the bottom of the bread from burning and we're just gonna bake it with the lid off for an extra five minutes. This is optional, but this will just give it a nice extra crust, which gives that classic artisan bread sound when you take that first bite. All right, the last thing we need to do is just place it on our cutting board and just let it cool off for a bit. Now, if you look closely, you can see that this one side is softer than the other side, and that's just because the bread was a little squished in my Dutch oven. But that's okay, you can always bake them individually if you choose to. But in terms of the size, I think this is the perfect size for artisan bread. It's just a lot more easier to cut, especially when you shape it into a loaf. It's also a lot more easier to store. Okay, I think I'm talking too much. Time to cut this. Thanks again for watching this video. If you're interested in more videos like this, I'll link that in the description below. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video. Take care.